All of the work that's been done so far by Kevin, Whitney, and Eric, it all comes together here where Vanessa is able to take those preset tools, the components, and the site builder options, and actually create the content that she wants to realize her vision. In this section, we're going to take a look at a few things. First, we're going to see the customizable author, authoring dashboard that's available to Vanessa. We're going to take a look at that structured content that we saw before. And then finally, we're going to look at content assembly by taking different components and putting them together. Inside the site, we can see that Erica, uh, inside the site, we can see that Vanessa has the ability to access a moderation dashboard. Now, this dashboard gives her some information about what's been going on in the site, some of the content that she has available, and is completely customizable. Here we're using those dynamic query building tools to actually make custom reports to show us exactly what we need to see. Now, when we take a look, Vanessa's gonna actually be able to take a look at all of the content that's currently available. And if we see something like an article, when we open this up, we can see what it looks like. But when we go in to edit this article, we'll see that that structured data format and the configurable form that Kevin created are available to let us easily create content over time. By having this structured content available, it means we're able to quickly and easily create reproducible content that has the same format. This means that it can be used in a number of ways and it's always going to work great for us. There are a number of different options that we have available in terms of being able to manage things like meta tags, see the status of translations, set the path, and even take it through the workflow moderation. All of this makes it easy for Vanessa to create structured content that's going to look good and work well with the rest of the site. However, sometimes you have a need to create something that might not be quite so structured. In this case, we have the ability to create content that's more like a landing page or unstructured content by assembling components that we put together. Here, we could go through and start to build out all of the different pieces that we need to create the page that Vanessa wants to see. However, we also have the ability to use what are called helpers. A helper is like a preset blueprint that enables us to quickly take work that's already been done and put things together again. So here we can see that just by dragging this over, now Vanessa has a starting place with a hero that's already got all of the components put in place, an about us section, images and services. At this point, she can go in and she can make the changes that she needs to. So for example, she can go in and set the actual background for this particular piece. So let's take an image from the existing system. And she can also modify the content, the data, the links. And all of these are those components that Whitney put together for her. In this case, let's go ahead and save this as a draft. This means it's not going to be published yet. It's just a working draft that's going to go through the approval workflows that we'll see later so that this can actually go public after it's had a chance to be reviewed. As we can see here, we've got a fully functional page with a lot of stuff that's already set up for us. All of this was put together by that helper, so it makes it really easy for Vanessa to go in and modify this and make sure that she's going to be using the same standards over and over and over again. Now, in this case, we only changed one image just to be quick, but you can see how well this works out. With all of this flexibility, Vanessa is able to do a lot of what she wants just by taking the different pieces and putting them together. Once she is done with going through and modifying and editing this, she'll be able to put it into a review state. When that happens, it's going to notify Eric that it's ready to be reviewed and he's going to be able to take a look and see if there are changes that still need to be made or if it's going to be available to be published.